get away from you in the first half of? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I've, got, I've not got too many complaints about the result. I thought Harlequins kind of got a lot more right than we did, you know, on the day. That with, that with the whole situation so much better than we did. But, you know, in hindsight, it's probably to be a little bit expected in that, you know, kind of our, our first occasion here. And as I said, you know, I, I was impressed with Harlequins, the kind of the intensity and the intent they brought to the, to the opening period. And that kind of knocked us out of our stride a little bit. Um, and, and we failed to kind of do anything that really knocked them out of their stride for quite a long time. Um, so obviously, you know, we reassessed things a little bit at half time and thought the second half was better if for no other reason other than we showed some, we just showed some an intent in the collisions and some attitude in what we did. Um, and obviously that, that just kind of made the game a lot tougher for, for Harlequins. And ultimately, you know, we were, we were probably a couple of pressure moments again that we created from, from, from uh, stealing a losing bonus point, which is probably after the first half all we could really really say we could stand and fight for in the second half. So, you know, but better in the second half, but not so good in the first. They still continue to dictate most of the pace of the game and how and where. Uh, yeah, to a, to a degree. I mean, but I mean, we had we had penalties that we could have taken shots at goal at that we didn't, um, opting to go to the corner or stay stay scrummaging. So there was there were extended periods where we had some good pressure, uh, and our defence was much improved after the, after the second half as well because we actually showed some intent to get off the line and actually finish our tackles, which. Um, We've actually been defending very well of late, and I think we've missed more tackles, just individually missed tackles today, at a rate that um, I'm not I'm not too happy about. And, you know, we'll talk about it during the week. But listen, you know, it was a it was a different occasion for us. It's another kind of uh, step on the experience ladder that sometimes, you know, I, even I got to, and I, you know, I've been here all the time of the journey. Is sometimes stop and look back and go right. You know, we are going to have to go through things like this. It's still all part of the package that that we haven't we haven't done before. Um, sometimes we feel like we're we're jumping into these games and we should be doing very well in them because we've we've got in the Heineken Cup now and we're experiencing things like playing Toulon but the reality is this is our first time here and we haven't performed very well um, I'm not I'm not massively concerned by that if the next time we're here we perform better you know that that's kind of what experience is about you've got to you've got to go through it and you've got to learn from it the 70,000 crowd is that a, a new new experience it's a new well? thing I mean yeah. ultimately what yeah ultimately what you hope is that you know a big crowd at Twickenham and brings the best out of everybody but I think when we actually sit and review the game and talk to the guys as individuals I don't think there'll be too many who will probably say that it brought ultimately the best out of them um, whether that just be tr trying sometimes that can be trying just too hard or trying to do someone else's job or just getting out of shape and out of system I mean geez, some, some of the things I saw us doing defensively today I don't know where they come from because we haven't done them for two years you know what I mean so you know that that's kind of you, you can only pass that down to probably guys probably working too hard or trying to cover someone else or thinking someone else is going to miss a tackle and ultimately what you do is leave space every, you know you ultimately end up leaving space everywhere you know we we probably overreacted to pretty much everything that Quinn's hit us with um you know so if, if they if they found a bit of space in one area um we we, we, we overcrowded that area and showed them space somewhere else that was a little bit how we defended today but um, as i say you know there are always reasons for it uh, i'm not I'm not you know, broken by losing to Harlequins away from home. You know we've had plenty of these in the time, times we've been in the Premiership. I'm just a, I'm just a little disappointed that we didn't show a bit more of ourselves. Um, but but again, it was a little bit better second half. Um, but we're going to have to be notional the next week against Wasps because that's a, it's a very important fixture for us. You know they're, they're all getting important for us now if we don't want to lose touch with these top four. In, you had a, an injury in the first half which forced Hayden off. What, yes. I don't know what the matter was. Um, was Brett Brett Sturgis? Yeah, Brett Sturgis obviously in that last passage of play looks like he's. Uh, it's twisted a knee, um, so we'll we'll kind of be able to assess it probably in more detail over the next couple of days. But I mean, it looks it looks relatively serious that you know it required him being carried off. So hopefully it's hopefully it's not as bad as it first looks. And Hayden, Hayden's just more of a kind of a bruise, muscle spasm type thing we think uh, in, his, in his back. So hopefully he shouldn't be too long either. Is a, is a place in the top four the target for this season? That no, I mean we know, no, no, no. We don't, we don't kind of start a season and go. This is where we want to be. We we talk very much about how we want to perform on a week by week basis and where we want to go over long periods, and I, and we don't even identify that as being a se uh, one season. You know, for us, you know, we think we'll be involved in big games. You now, whether that be top four games or cup finals, somewhere down the line. The work we're, we talk about, the work we put in now, being what gives us those those big games down the line, and that, that's why, in a way, today is, is very important for us because we need to experience big games at Twickenham. Because if you're ever going to win anything, you've got to win one here. So I, I, that's why I'm, I'm I, I can I can take it as scratching something off that experience ladder because you, you, we're going to have to go through them, and some of them will be tough like today. Uh, you just got to hope there's ones in the future that'll be better.
Okay. Sorry. Any complaints on the yellow? Yeah. Well, I mean, the only thing you, I mean, the only thing you say about the yellow is, is it any different to the, the the tackle that's a penalty? I mean, they look they all look almost carbon copies of of two guys who are trying to do everything they can not to hurt somebody. Yeah. To me, you know, to me, I don't think either of them had any malice. Um, the more a little bit of a loss of control, and the guy lands. I mean, neither of the guys had their heads heads driven towards the ground, or or really, became hardly became above the horizontal. One's a, one's a yellow card and one's a penalty. I don't. Uh, that, that's the only thing I can think about the complaint, really. All right.